Greetings from Istanbul Technical University. I'm Feyza, team captain of IT Rover team, and we are proudly announced our seventh generation of rover, IT Oaxa Rover. IT Rover team is established in 2016 and it maintains its multidisciplinary perspective and it has been a testing attendant by a total of 64 students from 22 different departments and 10 different faculties who like to explore the field of space and robotics. We have five sub-teams. Mechanical sub-team is responsible for the mechanical design and manufacture of the rover. The electronic team is responsible for the rover's embedded system and cabling system. The software team creates the software architecture for the rover to complete the task and integrate it into the system. The science team is responsible for the geological study of Mars. The organizational sub-team, on the other hand, is responsible for the creative design and financial activities of the team. As IT Rover team, we believe that competition brings out the best in everyone. And since we are the first rover team created in Turkey, we wanted to further development and interest of space exploration and robotics, not only for our university, but our country as well. We look at ERC as a chance to improve our space exploration and robotics. ERC will help us inspire people to join our vision. Four-wheel rocker suspension design with a differential bar is chosen for superior terrain performance. Unlike the previous years, high-powered brushless DC motors and planetary gearbox with one-to-ten reduction is used in each wheel of the drivetrain. 3D printed flexible TPU wheels are custom designed and printed for possible steps, slopes and rough terrain on ERC field by improving over traction. Motors are placed inside the wheels for protecting them from vibration and impact. Rover can climb up to 60 degrees of slopes and reach up to 3 meters per second speed. Moreover, 90 degree center clicks on each side of the gripping surface provides easy rotation against difficulties due to the flow of direction of the sands. The six axes of our robotic arm are constructed using worm gear and cyclode gear boxes, which will supply necessary torque and complete rotation for each axis. The final three axis usage of cyclode gears leads to their compactness, excellent accuracy and elimination of backlash. Our team used worm gear on the rest of the axis because to avoid back drive. The robotic arm's structural components are comprised of aluminum and carbon fiber for maximum strength. The two-finger adaptable gripper, made of patchy and aluminum components, lets you to grab any form of an object with ease due to the TPU pads utilized in the finger. Seven brush DC motors are used to drive the robotic arm and gripper. Considering the updated tasks, four degrees of freedom specific robotic arm is chosen as an alternative manipulator. Belt and pulley system with a lead screw mechanism used for access to achieve zero backlash and provide required torque. Most of the parts of manipulator and probe sample containers are designed for manufacturing with a 3D printer. Also, these containers will carry in probes and samples stably during the test. Our robot's driving system is controlled by SGM32 microcontrollers, Hero and Arduino development boards, and our internal connection utilizes CAN bus and UART communications. We use wet motor drivers to control the brushless motors in the driving system, and Talon Acerix to control brushed motors of the robotic arm. The position information of axes are provided by magnetic encoders. Encoder feedbacks are used to create a PID control, which gives a smart trajectory to the robotic arm and increases the robustness of the driving system. In the robotic arm, with 4 plus 1 degrees of freedom, which we designed for the prop test, we utilized stepper motors and brush motors. While precise stepper motor drivers were used for stepper motors, IBT2 brush motors drivers were favored for brush motors in vertical axis. Custom PCBs with different functions are designed and used for power distribution, motherboard functionality increase, energy monitoring and multi-motor drive. The structure for the internal communication system of the rover is utilized to deliver a robust and convenient user experience. To accomplish that, serial communication is preferred for the internal communication. UBQT M2 bullets with 8 dB IOM directional antennas are used to transmit over the 2.4 GHz frequency band for communication between the control station and the rover. The FPV cameras are used for broadcasting the image in the 5.8 GHz band. The components and the cables are placed in line within the plan and immobilized to avoid possible noises and short circuits. To prevent the rover from possible damage, two fuses are added to the battery circuit alongside the emergency buttons which are placed to cut the power in any need. As a software team, we developed our system with using robot operating system. Serial communication is used between microcontrollers and onboard computer. Activity indicator is used for safety concern and inform in a range of 10 meters environment during operations. Activity indicator will be lit at least 5 seconds before any operation. Green light will be lit during teleoperation and red light during autonomous mode. Also, orange light shows that rover is in steady mode. To achieve full autonomous state, machines are designed for separate computation tasks. In the controls of the robot manipulators, the desired movements can be achieved both in the joint and Cartesian spaces. In order to fulfill the maintenance task, the fiducial markers on the panel are detected and the positions of the objects are estimated according to these markers. Then the end effector is commanded to go to the specified location. 
In the probing mission, probes that are in the onboard container are grappled with the predefined approach command and easily released via poses recorded at the desired location. A convolutional neural network is used to detect the digits on the panel. In drive system, odometry is calculated by the extended Kalman filter fed with the LiDAR infusion, field odometry, and the feedback from the markers on the Mars yard. Point cloud data gathered from 3D LiDAR is stacked. Stack point cloud data is used to generate a 2.5D grid map. Finally, grid map is interpreted as a traversability possibility and cost map is generated. As a backup plan, the map of the navigation stack is adjusted. Safest and shortest path is calculated by the navigation stack on the cost map. To overcome possible issues, navigation stack is configured both in simulation and real-world environments. As a science team, we examine the geological features such as volcanoes, crater formation, ice lava interactions, tectonic and fluvial activities on Elysium Planitia to come up with our hypothesis and we review the literature to support it. We utilize JMARS to study possible landing areas for our rover before making our final choice. Also, we prepared ourselves to detect the unexpected objects in the given area. Artificial intelligence algorithms were used in conjunction with spectrometer to detect the rocks. The percentage similarity rate was obtained with database created by the ITU rover science team. Together with the selection of rocks that could support our hypothesis and photograph the under different conditions. We designed a visible spectrometer to identify rock samples which support our hypothesis. We collect data from rock samples as spectrum images and use them with machine learning and image processing. Also, we painted the inside of the spectrometer with Vanderbilt 3.0 paint to get maximum efficiency.